Now, what's going to make sure that we stay on this dean is the protection of our heart. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. I have not been to one country or one state or one city where people don't ask me about music. Everywhere I go, every conference, we have dozens of questions. Well, what about music? And I'm sure you've already asked Professor Jackson. If you haven't, you will. Don't worry, they will. But you know what? Brothers and sisters, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that one of the things that can come from this group here is a profound love of the Quran. I was here in Houston a few hours, this right before I went to Australia. And remember, as I mentioned uh, about a young man named Harun who took his shahada. And this young man named Harun was a, um, uh, used to be a rap singer and a poet, and he used to write songs. And he was very good at it. And four years ago, as a young man in his early 20s, someone played a disc of the Quran. And he was so impressed with that Quran, he never heard anything like that. He became a Muslim on the spot. This is true. I met him in uh, Jersey City recently. He became a Muslim, didn't know one word of Arabic, but yet he was touched by the Quran and it had a miraculous effect upon him. And it reminded me the first time I heard the Quran, I even have the tape, where I said, this is the most beautiful thing I ever heard in my life. I have to learn that. That was in 1978, Sheikh Jaffa the Dries recited the Quran for us. And sitting there in that room, I listened to that Quran and was moved by it, not knowing any Arabic. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lets us know in the Quran that in the remembrance of Allah, the heart feels tranquil. I want you to go, sisters and brothers, to any song you ever heard in your life, the best song that you ever heard in your life. You will notice that that song, is, if it's popular, will be on the charts, like number one for weeks. But notice, it never stays there, does it? If they're lucky, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. But then after that, the people, they get tired of it. We heard it already. We don't want to hear it again. This is the, the nature of the songs of this world. And it may make you feel good at the moment, but if you heard it over and over again, you get tired and you don't want to listen to it. But yet the Quran, you can hear the Quran all your life. And you would never, ever, ever get tired of hearing the Quran when it's recited in the right way. Now I finish with this.